Oh, right. Okay. So, Jared, tell me a little bit about your character in the House of Wax. Okay. Uh, my character's name is Wade, and uh, I'm Alicia Cuthbert's boyfriend, which never looks well for a character in a horror movie, but I'm um, sort of a big fish in a small pond. You know, I'm a big guy from a, from a small town. I'm kind of the popular guy there, and I'm kind of comfortable where I am, but I'm getting out of school, and I'm sort of at a crossroads in my life, and... Um, I'm, I'm hoping that this road trip helps me decide whether or not I want to stay in a small town after school or whether I want to go to a big city with my girlfriend and, you know, try and make our relationship work out. But So why did this role appeal to you? Well, there's something... That, well, can I talk about everything that happened in the movie? The, okay, well the, well, the scenes... The scenes... I read the script, first off, and I was reading... It was the daylight. It was like noon. You want to talk louder? Yeah, that's just rude. Sorry, it's picking up on camera. Oh, is it that? Yeah. Oh, it's a cell phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just start again. Just a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just ask you. It was just that one question I needed. Yeah, how, how, how did this role look like? Why did this role appeal to you? Okay. Okay. Jeez. Okay, it's going. Uh, well, this, this role appealed to me because I, I read the script, and it was, it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, daylight was coming into my windows. I was in my condo. My dog was on my bed with me. My phone was ringing. My TV was on. My point is there were so many distractions and so many not scary things about what I was and what I was doing, and I read the script, and it terrified me. Like, it really scared me. I was just reading words on a page, and I've, I've, read, I've read a thousand scripts in my lifetime, you know? And I, I was reading it, and I was like, what? Like, what's going on? And I knew nothing about the film so far. And then I called on it, and I was like, you know, I called my agent, and I was saying, I, I, I want to take a meeting on this. I'd, I'd love to, to go for this role, or, or any of these roles. And... Um, then he told me that uh, Chad was in it because I, I worked with Chad on Gilmore Girls, so I knew him, and I was like, oh, wow. He told me it was a Joel Silver movie, and um, and I was like, wow, well, I want to meet the director. You know, I really liked the character of Wade. It was something I hadn't done. It was it was some kind of fun to play because I'm sort of the uh, the nosy character who people are going to scream at when they're in the seats, and it just felt like something fun to do. Like, if I can get somebody to yell at me and say, hey, you're stupid, you know, while they're watching, then I think I've done my job. But it just seemed like a really fun thing. Were you nervous working with Joel Silver? One, one sec. I, you know what? You, you're, you're awesome. You answer that question like a... Any anytime. Okay. Of, you know, why this role appeals. Sure. Well, a lot of things about this movie appealed to me and about this role, and I read the script, and I was terrified, and I've read thousands of scripts, you know, literally, and I, there was something that was exciting about the script and about my character, and so I knew Chad, Michael Murray was doing it, who I knew from Gilmore Girls, and I knew Joel Silver was doing it, so I took a meeting on it, and I met the director, and, and he told me his vision for the movie, and... I was really excited, and he was so passionate about what he was going to do that I, I was like, you know, this is going to be fantastic, and being a Joel Silver movie, just above all things, was going to be Are a lot of fun. Are you a horror movie fan? I am a horror movie fan. There's something about horror movies that, more than other genres, you can go into the movie theater and, and get your Coke and get your popcorn and sit down and just, you're on a roller coaster ride, but it's for two hours instead of for two minutes, you know, and you're having a fun time and you're screaming and your girlfriend is scared and you get to be kind of like the tough guy and your heart's racing and, and you're on the edge of your seat and your adrenaline's pumping and for a moment or two, you know, you forget about your life and your responsibilities and you're just having a good time. So your character is one of the first ones that gets waxed, yep. sprayed all over you. How challenging oh, yeah. was that? It was, it was pretty challenging. Luckily for me, I had... I had a body double to get waxed as well, so they kind of spoiled the actors, and I only had to get waxed for about 20 minutes, which they didn't even use, and um, they ended up using my body double, who worked out, so I was happy that they used him. Was it kind of creepy seeing, you know, a wax figure? Yeah, it was really creepy. I remember getting to set and just being like, wow, and I'd heard, because other people had seen my wax figure, and they were like, I saw you the other day, and I was talking to you, and then you didn't talk to me back. And it was because you were waxed. I was like, what? What does that mean? And I, and I saw it, and I actually just saw it the other day back in Los Angeles. And it's it's uncanny. I'm going to try and steal him from Joel Silver. <laughs> what was your reaction to the final film when you, when you saw it? I loved it. I loved it. When you film a horror movie, it's not scary at all. I mean, because you're, you're acting against special effects, so you're acting against nothing. You're looking at a piece of tape on a wall because that's your eye line, and another piece of tape on that wall, and they're like, okay, this piece of tape is the killer, and, and that piece of tape is your friend, so don't move anything but your eyes and tell that piece of tape that there's a piece of tape that's a killer, and he's got a knife, and he's going to kill him, and, and you're like, what does this mean? Like, I'm going to look stupid, and, you're, and you have to do, you know, you have to act scared and do all these, like, jumps and twists and turns, and you feel like it's just going to be, you know... 
stupid looking, but sure enough, the director and the visual effects, the special effects, the sound effects people put together a great movie, and I jumped a few times, and I was in it, like, I remember filming it, and so, Alicia and I were, were sitting next to each other watching a couple scenes, and we both jumped, and we were like, what? Like, we were in that, like, we filmed that scene, like, I remember filming the scene, and, I, and it scared me, and it's just, you know, the guys behind the camera did... 99.9% .9 of the work, so they did a great job. So this is very different from a lot of the roles that, you know, you've been playing. It is, yeah. You know, even from the Gilmore Girls mm -hmm. and some romantic comedies. Is it challenging to show... Kind of every character you play, you know, unless it's, unless it's some, you know, way out, whacked out character with no fear for some reason or not, which, I, which I've never really heard of or seen in film. But, um... It's, 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 it was challenging to do a horror film because you're not filming with actors a lot. You're filming with nothing. So in that sense, it's harder to show fear because you can't be scared of what's going on or because of what you're hearing, but you just have to be scared because that piece of tape is supposed to be a killer, and he's supposed to kill you, so look at it and see its knife and be scared. So that's kind of not easy. So any upcoming roles? I did a pilot called Supernatural, and uh, hopefully it'll be, a, it'll be on Warner Brothers this fall, and I did a movie called Cry Wolf, where I met my girlfriend, Sandra McCoy, and uh, that comes out September 23rd. So how did you like filming in Australia? I loved it. I loved it. I'd been to Australia before for a, a, a movie of the week called Ring of Endless Light, and it was just insane. I, I love I love the people. I love the, the, the Great Barrier Reef. My girlfriend came with me, and we went scuba diving, and it's just a beautiful place and fun people and, and great beer and great food. And I, I, I'd go back any time. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you so much. Thanks so much, and have a Great day. Absolutely. Right. And a great Absolutely. break. Absolutely. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry about the technical problems. That's okay.